This is the Stormcaller boss in Remnant from the Ashes, brought to you with limited commercial interruptions. Because I was listening to YouTube videos while I was grinding my way through this boss fight. Storm Crystal is what we got. A glowing fragment. Hey, guess what? That was another annoying boss fight. Filled with random ads that threw random things at you that did random damage that you had to avoid. All to distract you from the actual boss, which was pretty straightforward. All you had to do was just avoid his, you know, storm calling things. All you really had to do was just run around to avoid his things and, you know, dodge when you happen to see a, a storm event over your head. That's all you really had to do. And otherwise just pour damage on the, the main guy. 
But, you know, no, they threw the random ads over there that just constantly kept harassing you with random damage from all random directions and all everywhere. So it's pretty much a random uh, chance of getting through that or not. And I did it enough times to get through the random percentile chance of success. Pretty standard remnant from the ashes, horrifyingly bad boss fight design. The bosses aren't hard enough that we have to throw random events in there to make the player think that they're doing something hard. When they're really just persevering in the face of random statistics. That's all they're doing. Okay, we went through the exit. We're still looking for Ford's trail in the jungle. We've entered the Verdant Strand. We're heading toward this... Um... I feel like... things are happening. But I'm not sure what, because it doesn't matter, because all I'm doing is going to this checkpoint. To rest at this checkpoint. Oh, is this like the opposite side of a door that I couldn't open before? Yes! Awesome. Resting at the checkpoint and taking a break after finishing the Stormcaller boss after an hour of throwing myself at it over and over and over again. That's all for now. See you later.